Put your hands together for Ross Roots. Put your hands together for Ross Roots in the building. We represent Ras Roots, Lux, and Culture. If you want to get more familiar with what we do, you can go to rasroots.com and get familiarized. But tonight, we come to share a few of the spoken words that we love to share. My first piece is called The Africa in I. It is the African eye that reminds I of my roots, DNA strands woven in a tapestry called humanity, given shapes, colors, sizes. Yet, what some fail to realize is the mortar that binds an eye together is Africa. The African eye, the spirit of the sun, the great Amon, now converted into Jesus, God's son. Ever giving light, ever giving life, ever living, is whole of soul of spirit never done. They try, they try to kill the African eye. The African eye is an eternal flame. The sun, the moon, the north star that guides thy feet to a higher plane. Where his story is unraveled as unmatched pieces of a picture puzzle. This African eye is a permanent habit. I never leave home without it. Like a memorable song, like the love for a mom, the African eye keep I going on and on and on. The next piece is called I, Rastafari. Yeah. And it says, from the dust to the upper crust, from government oppression to open rebellion, from madhouse and jailhouse to Buckingham Palace and the White House, from haunted and persecuted, cursed and reviled, to requested, loved, admired, even looked at with a John Lee's eye. I, Rastafari, has arrived. Due to the nature of the beast, Rastafari is not surprised by the behavior of police. From truck tire shoes, songs of tribulation and blues, to honorable featured in headline news. From I don't want no nappy kinky dreadlock hair in here, to nappy kinky dreadlock hair there and everywhere. I, Rastafari, has arrived. Buried in the dust of his story, the kernel of incarnated souls rise like a lion from sleep with a thunderous roar, shaking heaven's door, announcing the glories of Ra, whose roots shine for I and I as Rastafari, children of the shining majesty, children of the Ethiopian sun, light of the world, the conquering lion come. I. Rastafari, from nowhere to right here, from nobody to someone with a firm intention to rule his destiny and determine his fate, with the cycles of life through the inspiration of him, his imperial majesty, Emperor Ayala Selassie I, the symbol of the truth, resurrecting ancient dormant roots of power story, from social chaos rejected uncounted, defiled, said to be illiterate and dark, backward, to teacher, professor, student, engineer, scientist, nurse, doctor, lawyer, contractor, poet, playwright, actor. From the womb of Mother Africa, manifested in Jamaica, revealed to the world, cosmic consciousness materialized in flesh, Without apology or regret, I, Rastafari, the mystery unfold, Ethiopia in living color, red, green, and gold. Respect. Yes, 
final, and our final piece is um, called Womb Man, the Superman. It says, is she man with extra components, turbocharged, man upgraded with a womb, the first world from which we all began our evolution, from fish to man? Sometimes from man to monsters who disrespect and desecrate the womb, the heaven from which we enter this earth through that sacred passage, the supreme ritual of birth. For nine months in the womb, a tadpole in a watery room, no grocery to buy, no rent to pay, just waiting on that special day when the womb with contractions say, time is up. I've had enough. And expels you with cries and screams. With huffs and puffs, out comes the dream, the ultimate miracle any eye has ever seen. The hope for life's continuity, replenishing, replenishing the earth. For many men, when it's time for them to witness the scene of birth, they sometimes fake, gives reason to escape, witnessing this sight of sacred passage. The emotional strain, the cries of pain, they usually just can't stand it. But from wombs, man scream in pain of travail, out comes man, woo man, gives birth in hand, suckling man. What superior position? Can any parasite be superior to his host? So what says this manly boast? Woman cares, nurtures, and nourishes man. Woman, the symbol of love and affection. Woman is the organic inspiration for man's resurrection. There's no question about the superior component of the womb man, souped up man. Before we were born, she gave us food. Before we were born, she gave us shelter. Before we were born, she was our clothing. Woman, man's only hope. Woman, man's only hope. <laughs>